guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i did my 36 inch soft faux locks i started off with blow dried hair and then the next day i just parted my whole head and put it into braids and i used the new bobby new locks hair i used six packs of the 18 inch and then i used two packs of this free trust spring twist hair so for extending the locks I kept one of the packs in the pack and I separated the bottom of that lock into two pieces. So after you um, split it into two pieces, I took another lock from the other pack. I took the whole pack out of the second pack of locks. And I'm gonna take the top, like where the loop is, I'm gonna take the loop and I'm gonna put one of the ends inside the loop to attach the lock to the other lock so now you should have two and then i just kind of twisted the loop up and now you should have two little pieces and you're going to tie those pieces together and then i'm gonna bring around the other piece from the back and tie it again and then you should be left with two little pieces and i'm going to take the bottom piece and kind of open the lock and twist it in and then i'm going to take the top piece and twist it into the top of the lock and twist it in if that makes sense <laughs> and i did all this a couple days before i even put the locks in my head just so that it wouldn't take as long um to do you guys i literally did this like five days before i was just watching tv and attaching the locks and it didn't take me long so now i'm going to spray some got to be glue spray on it and i'm just gonna kind of twist twist it and tighten it <laughs> to make sure that it stays and it doesn't unravel and then i'm just gonna show you the process all over again we're just gonna take split that block into two take another lock in the loop put one of the pieces inside the loop and then tie it twice and then attach those two pieces to both ends of the lock and there you go you're gonna have your extended locks So now fast forward to me finished my hair <laughs> except for two so that I could show you guys how I actually installed the locks. Um, now I'm going to be holding up a piece of the spring twist hair that's one twist and I'm actually going to be splitting that twist into two so that one twist is enough to wrap two locks. So I'm just going to cut it where the loop is and then I'm going to separate the twist and after that, I'm gonna begin to fluff out the twists. Okay, so now that I'm done fluffing out the twists, I'm gonna take my extended lock and I'm gonna get my crochet needle, latch, little thing, <laughs> and I'm going to insert it in the top of my braid, but make sure that it's closed. So you're gonna insert it, close it, and insert it in your hair. 
and then when you insert it you're going to attach the top loop of the lock into the crochet needle close the latch and then you're going to pull it through after you pull it through you're going to take the loop at the top of the lock and you're going to put you're going to open it and then you're going to put your hair inside that loop so i'm going to take my braid and i'm going to put it inside the loop and then i'm going to tighten it pull it to tighten it and then i'm going to start unraveling the twist and twisting my hair into the lock i know it sounds hard but it's really not you're just gonna continue you're just gonna wrap unwrap and twist unwrap and twist unwrap it and twist it so you're twisting your hair into the lock Okay, so now I'm gonna take some edge booster and I'm gonna put that at the top of my braid, you know, just so that it's nice and slick. And then I'm gonna take some of this, the spring hair, one half of the spring hair that I already fluffed out. And I'm gonna put that at the top of my hair and I'm gonna kind of have a shorter piece attached to my hair and then the longer piece is what I'm gonna be wrapping. And I'm gonna wrap it like twice at the root to get it tight and then I'm just gonna continue to wrap it down um, the rest of my hair. And to secure it, once I get to the end, toward the end of it, I'm gonna spray some got to be spray and I'm gonna wrap it tight, tight, tight. And then I'm gonna like kind of roll it with my fingers until it gets tacky to really secure the hair on the lock. And that is my finished lock, you guys. It's, it sounds more complicated when you try to explain it, but I'm telling you when you start doing it, it's really easy. That's a close up of me unraveling the lock and twisting it around my hair so that my hair is in the lock. So now I'm just going in with got to be and spraying some pieces and re kind of twisting them um, if they're a little too frizzy or you know if I want a, a bulky piece to be more tucked in and tight um, but this is my finished look you guys and I wanted to show you guys how long they were they're really long <laughs> they're 36 inches and I'm 5'3", so that's how long they came on me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next Just Bimber video. Bye!